Hello and welcome to the section of the MATLAB Tutor. Uh, in this section we're going to jump into the realm of calculus. Uh, and if you've been using MATLAB for any length of time you already know that calculus is absolutely indispensable and um, we just need to make sure and get the syntax right to make sure we're communicating with MATLAB correctly and so we'll get the right answers. So in order to uh, proceed we need to define a function but usually functions are f of x, right? So what we need to realize is that when we're doing any of these calculus um, these calculus functions, especially differentiation and integration, we're, we're always going to be doing it symbolically. So MATLAB is going to go and calculate the derivative and present it to you in an exact answer. So because of that, we need to make sure and define, if we're doing f of x, we need to define x as a symbol so that whenever it, it goes in and it tries to calculate the derivative, x is a generic algebraic symbol so that it can actually do its work. The next thing we we'll need to do is define some function. And we'll do that just like we did in the last section. So we'll say in this case f of x is equal to x squared and the independent variable is x. Right. So the first step we've defined x to be a generic symbol because all of these calculus things are going to be dealing with symbolic math. And then we calculate or we define this function f of x is equal to x squared. So over here in the workspace we have x which is a symbol and f which is an inline guy which is MATLAB speak for it's a function. All right, so we have this here. Now this function behaves just like any other function we've defined. You know, if you plug in a number, you get a number back, right? So that was what we covered in the last section. Now what we want to do is calculate the derivative. So the, uh, let me go ahead and clear the screen to give us a nice clean slate. Our function f is defined as it is on the screen now. And now we want to calculate the derivative. So the function that does that in MATLAB is diff. And what you need to do is tell it what function you're trying to take the derivative of, in this case f of x, and you also have to tell it what variable you're trying to take the derivative with respect to. So this is easy because it's a simple function. It's going to be you know, f of x and you're taking the derivative with respect to x, but you still have to specify what variable you're taking the derivative with respect to. All right, so we hit enter and MATLAB calculates that symbolically and it gets an answer of 2x, which I chose a very simple example here because I want you to realize that, you know, it's doing what you think it should do. So again, the first step when you're doing calculus, define your independent variable as a symbol, like we did here, then define your function, then you can pass the derivative off to it. All right. So we can continue to play this game. We can we can uh, define more and more complicated functions, or we can change variables. Let's do uh, that for a second. Let's say we have another uh, function. We'll call it g, and we'll set that equal to. Uh, something else here. Let's say g of x, let's call it. So let's say it's sine of x over cosine of x, right? Sine of x over cosine of x. And we want to obviously uh, have the independent variable as x. So we're saying g of x is equal to sine over cosine. So we have this nice function. Of course, g behaves just like any other function. You pass a number to it. It takes the sine over the cosine and you get your answer back. So we'll clear the screen. G of x is up on the screen and now we want to take the derivative of this function. So we say diff g of x and we want to take this derivative with respect to x. And so it goes and calculates an exact answer. Sine squared of x over cosine squared of x plus 1. And if you want to make it look a little pretty you can just take the last answer and dump it in the pretty function and you can sort of you know, visualize it a little bit better. Sine squared over cosine squared plus one. That's the exact uh, derivative. So that is sort of the essentials of how to calculate a derivative in MATLAB. You have to um, define the function. You must define the independent variable as a symbol. So let me give you just one final example. Let's say our independent variable is, you know, u. So you have to do sims u. You, and in fact, let's not do it first. Let's just show you what happens. Let's create a function. We'll call it JSON, and we'll do inline of what do we want to do with with this function. Let's make it a function of u, and this function we'll just say it's a log of u uh, plus u, right? And we'll do u like this. Okay. So we did not we did not define u to be a symbol, but that's okay because when we define our function. The function is defined fine and the function behaves fine. If I put a number in there, it works just fine. So defining the function, you don't have to make you a symbol in order to do that. You just define the function and MATLAB kind of 
treats this as almost like a dummy variable. Notice there's no u over here anywhere. That's because when you define this function, MATLAB just treats it as a dummy variable. It knows it's just a temporary storage to calculate the function, so it doesn't generate a workspace variable for that. But if I try to take the derivative of this thing, and I do diff json as a function of u, comma, u, what's going to happen? I'm going to get an error because the function variable u, the variable u is not defined anywhere. MATLAB really doesn't know what u is. It's just that when we calculate our function, it kind of puts aside a little memory location internally and uh, it uses it to calculate the value of the function JSON. So the bottom line is you can define functions without declaring the independent variable like this all day long, no problem, just to calculate things. But when you want to do things like derivatives, you have to uh, declare the independent variable as a symbol. So it's a mathematical symbol. So now sims u, u is now a symbol. And if I go and put the exact same thing I just typed in, the derivative of JSON with respect to u, it'll go ahead and calculate the answer because everything's in terms of the symbols. You see, so MATLAB's not going to be able to take any derivatives of anything unless the function is in terms of symbols that it can work with. So you have to define uh, the independent variable in terms of symbols like that. So go ahead and, and play around with that and uh, define some functions, take some derivatives, make sure you have the hang of it, make sure you have the syntax, and then follow me on to the follow-on sections where we'll continue working with the very, very important functions in calculus.